Sharks are apex predators of the marine world, characterized by their cartilaginous skeletons, streamlined bodies, and rows of razor-sharp teeth, essential for maintaining the delicate balance of ocean ecosystems. The thing is, you could accidentally be eating shark meat without even knowing. Fishmongers often avoid consumer fraud by not disguising shark as swordfish, but instead market it as a boneless fish, conveniently omitting its true identity, which is technically legal. Complicating matters, Maltese nomenclature for sharks does not include the term shark in their names, making them sound like any other fish to unsuspecting customers. For instance, the blue shark becomes Huta Kahla, and the blunt-nosed six-gill shark becomes Muruna, and the Matsola, very popular among Maltese, is the name for several small species of shark from the dogfish and smooth hound families. Many are oblivious to the fact that these are actually small sharks. Names that camouflage their true nature. This clever manipulation highlights the challenges of regulating seafood labeling and consumer awareness in the fishing industry. Well, good morning everybody. I'm in the southern village, actually the fishing village of Malta. I'm in Marsashlok by the boat. You can see that is where I am. And it's early morning, actually it's like 7.20. I woke up very, very early for a video that uh, I really came up with the idea because I saw a Reddit post. Uh, if you're uh, watching this video and uh, maybe you found my channel on Reddit, let me know in the comments below. Just type from Reddit so I will know. But I saw this post from a young lady. I think she's from Italy. Her name is Laura in English, Laura in Italian. And she's a marine biologist. She's doing like a tour and I messaged her and uh, we're gonna meet up. Uh, maybe there are gonna be people. I told her that if it's okay, I'm gonna film. So it's a new experience. We're gonna meet some new people, uh, see how it's gonna turn out. But this is how it looks. Look, all these nets ready for, uh, for the fish fisherman. But this is what it looks like. Today it's 17th, actually it's 18th. 18th, Sunday, 18th uh, February, guys. And this is how Malta looks like. And it's not cold at all. It's uh, around 18, I believe. 18 uh, degrees Celsius. Let me check for you. Actually, it, it's marking 12, but it's not 12 for sure. So something is wrong with the internet. Anyhow, so uh, today is an important day for uh, Sunday. If you've never been here, there's a market, as you can see. As far as your eyes can uh, take you, the market. So you can see the fishermen or their family members and uh, the, the vegetable guys and uh, stalls, other type of stalls are starting to uh, they're starting to uh, build their stalls, starting to uh, set up set up a shop in here. Look at this guy with uh, the boat right here. So this is what they're doing. It's early morning. It's not the rush hour. So I'm gonna meet up uh, with Laura in about uh, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go around and take you with me and see what's going on. Early morning in uh, Marcel's Lock Fish Market. Okay, so people are already starting to gather here. Yeah. See, these cabbages. Beautiful oh, beautiful strawberries right here. Wow. I mean, clothes and everything. So, yeah, I can confirm it. She's a shark and marine biologist. So, this is who we're gonna meet, Laura. I might get her on camera, we'll see if she's shy or not. So this is what it looks like, the market right now. Look, nuts, all types of nuts, herbs, see mint, parsley, all oh, yeah. here. Spices, beans, everything. Sorry. As you can see, people are already filling up. Right here. Morning rush. Oh, 
fish. How much? Sea bass. Everywhere. But we're gonna come later, guys. So boat trips here. Let's see where they go. So they go harbor cruise, there's Kalanka, Hofra, and these are the other stops maybe. You can uh, take a ferry, it's 30 minutes, so look, also to Peter's Pool, it's one hour, 30, uh, 30 minutes or whatever, Peter's Pool, and then you get back. It's a one hour trip. So that's an activity you can do also in here while maybe after you bought some fish and vegetables but one of my things that I want to do maybe later on close to summer is to get on a boat with maybe some fisherman and give him something and maybe I do a vlog with him if you like this idea let me know in the comments below so that's uh, something that I would love to do and uh, different type of content we'll see we'll see if we can uh, perhaps find someone today but as you can see it's early morning although uh, the, the, the uh, market is pretty much filling up and the thing is the Maltese okay the locals come early rather than the tourists the tourists come much more later because maybe they went out last night they had dinner and stuff like that so they might have the tendency to come later later on so there's the church right there that's uh, that's where I'm gonna meet uh, uh, with, uh, with Laura, the marine biologist. So, this the end in here. Let's go this way. It's also sweets, traditional like these mushrooms, the walnut macaron right there. All these sweets. Look, cannoli, pistachio cannoli. We have a sweet tooth. This is the place to be. meters of depth um, but they usually you can find them at 200 more or less. Something interesting about this one is about the project that we have with shark lobsters. We actually release these babies once they are um, we remove the eggs from the dead mothers, let's say. So even if they're dead, the eggs can still have the baby inside that is alive. So when we remove it, we take it to the aquarium. Um, we're going to keep them there because it takes quite some time for them to you know, be able to reproduce. Um, even six or seven months before they hatch. They're going to hatch from this opening right here. And then they're going to be very small when they're you know, born. Um, so we cannot just take them and throw them in the sea again. So we have to wait until they grow, we give them food, and then we also organize public release. So if you, you live here, right? 
you're gonna find them um, once we publish um, the next release. You can also join and you can see those sharks um, inside like the, the box and then how we're gonna dive as well to, to release them. Now that's not the only shark that we have over there. Sold and swordfish, even if they're not, and that's actually like a fish frog. I don't know now if we can find the different sharks. Maybe if they are close to each other, you know which one is a shark and which one is a swordfish. But sometimes they can be tricky, so I don't know if they are. But we will see. Apart from that, on the top you can see that there's this uh, pinkish meat mm -hmm. and there's a label and it's called uh, Moron. Morona. So Morona. What's that? What's that? I never... That's the six gill shark. It's a gill? Okay. There is a shark that uh, lives very deep in the sea. Uh, it can go up to 1,000 meters of depth. So there are uh, areas of Malta that are very deep with a lot of canyons, mm -hmm. underwater canyons, um, which can represent a good habitat for these species. And that one is the six gill shark. Now, the six gill shark in a lot of countries, for example, in Italy, is not. Uh, a meat that. Uh, you all right, you all right, sorry, ma'am. Sometimes this can happen as you. Uh, Shark meat is not wanted in a lot of places. But it's fished. And even if it's for a mistake, it's going to be salad. And that one is actually one of them. We're not doing anything wrong. We're just standing, stalking. But since I don't want to touch them, I'm going to them. As you can see, there's, there's also some sharks over there. And that one is not usually sold as muscle. 
the masala for them are mainly like the dogfish, uh, the catfish, the long nose for dogs, and the fish. Once I was talking to one of the seller because I work in Birkirkara, so on, on Wednesdays and Fridays yeah, in the center of Birkirkara they have a market. Uh, and so I sometimes I talk to them. Sometimes they see me looking and they start talking to me, so I have to be very friendly and tell them, you know, I just go to work, but I like to see the fish, you know, I every time smiling and without looking that you are judging them or something. And I was like, well, this is, is this a shark? Like the, and I was telling them, like, uh, Kelpil Bahar, because Kelpil Bahar means like the dog of the sea. Okay? And he's like, no, no, it looks like one, but it's not. You know, if it was a shark, I would tell you it's a shark. Because usually they think that the, the, the real shark are the big ones. The small ones are the sharks. But it's, it's okay for you to do that. You know, and you can do anything you want with this information. Um, maybe once you go traveling somewhere and you want to visit a market, you might see the same, the same situation, especially in the south of Italy. If you have in like Sicily or in other countries, you might find the same thing. And you're going to say, oh, that's a shark. I remember the girl telling me about that. <laughs> Diving, it's very difficult. Like if you enter the sea here, you're not gonna see any shark. Like any. <laughs> the only, I think, you know, animals you can see, you can find some eagle rays or bull rays. That's true. Um, or snorkeling, but you don't have to just dive. You can just swim, and you can see like like a beautiful flat fish that goes like this. <laughs> So what, what type of sharks uh, live here? So around the island there are around 35 species. 35 species? Mm -hmm. um, but they, again, they can live very, very deep mm -hmm. and very, very far. Uh, like in Luka, when they go fishing, they have 25 uh, nautical miles uh, distance uh, where they can actually fish. But since we are in the Mediterranean Sea, the Mediterranean is shared with a lot of countries. I know a lot of things because my... So, sometimes we might have enemies from other countries. So, they can also be part of the population. So, they try to do everything where they are artisanal fishing or fishing. Akshay, Anna, Agir, Lindel, no. Very, very nice. Maybe that one has something gone? Or maybe 
would have just fallen while they're taking out the nets. Yeah. And I wouldn't go there and shake it again. To be honest, me neither. Quite interesting what, uh, what is going on and what you're telling us about. Many Maltese, they don't know what, what uh, if they, they, they are sharks, small sharks. Yeah.